today is the day we hit the 700 sub goal and the challenge for the sub goal was when eating are glizzy. you sucking up you would eat but not suck um so yeah we having the glizzy mukbang today it's basically like a q a mukbang my chat asking me questions they they fill out a google form i'm gonna be answering the questions while trying to eat these we're doing seven glizzies for 700 Type dick. Let's do it. Let's do it. First question is freakiest thing you've ever done. Yay, shut up and eat that meat like a good boy. Yo, if y'all know the Kill Crew lore, y'all know that hot dog is probably my number one op. All right. Okay, freakiest thing you ever done. Um, what what does this question mean, chat? What do you mean, freakiest thing I done? You know? Honestly, probably this. This is probably the freakiest shit I ever done. Ate a bunch of hot dogs. Stop acting what? Alright, bro. Probably this right here, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, Kim, what the f Alright, next question. Why you quit tennis? Um I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of reasons for this. Um a lot of different and this will take me a long time to answer, but the simple answer, he was asked. I wasn't asked. Um, I was like, I played number one on my team for the longest. Um, like I didn't like, like it wasn't like I wasn't good enough. It was just, bro, shit wasn't lining up. Plus, bro, to be honest, chat, if I kept playing, y'all would not get streamed like y'all getting it now, bro. I, I promise. If y'all was there last semester, Bro, it was really hard for me to stream. Really hard. Barely, weekends barely ever stream. Week, maybe two times. Three, if we got lucky. Um. So, so streaming wise, it's better. But in actuality, yeah, it's just a lot of reasons. But hey, bro, we here. Um, but we gonna see. I feel like everything, you know, happens for a reason. Hopefully, me not playing. Uh, maybe we could push the streaming shit more. I don't know, but honestly, chat. I pay, played four years. It was about to be my fifth year. I feel like I played enough. I, it wasn't really sad. Like people asked if I was sad about it. Like, bro, it was about to be another year. And to be honest, I wasn't really tripping. I'm getting canes type day. It's also different without the glasses. What you mean? Do I wear the glasses that often? What's in cord? <laughs> I remember you would voice message on Jen talking about you have no breaks. Yeah, it's really bad, bro. Being a D1 athlete, that shit a lot of time, bro. You think if you never started streaming, could you make it pro? Nah. Honestly, hold up. I'm going to answer that question. Yay, shut up and eat that meat like a good boy. All right. Okay, bro. Um. Honestly, I tell people this a lot. Tennis, bro, is really hard because you're competing against the world, like. I'd be competing against hella like it's not just the u.s and the u.s is honestly not that good compared to other countries in tennis and it's also a lot harder like i don't get i don't i wouldn't get like drafted i've seen it chop you basically gotta make it by yourself and on top of that I don't think I was good enough. I could have maybe been a pro doubles player, I think, because I was really good at doubles, if y'all know what that is. Um, but I wouldn't be, like, top in the world. I think I could be, like, have a pro ranking, but I wouldn't make enough. I wouldn't, like, be rich off that show, I don't think. Type dick was in three chats last night. Type dick. 
All right, next question. You said you was doing something if Cardi dropped. Yeah, if he dropped the album. Y'all not getting y'all dick sucked. Sorry. Well, you got taking the risk of going pro? Nah. The passion don't need to make you rich? Nah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, bro. Like, the risk to reward is just not good enough. Plus, bro, I don't have the funds, like... See, bro, if you're pro in basketball, if you go to a league, say I wanted to, bro, say if I, even if I wasn't good enough to, to play in the NBA, say I go to Europe, Europe, they pay for your living. They pay for your travels. Even if you're not making money, like your contract isn't worth a lot of money. They pay for most of your living so you could play comfortably. And like, you don't, you pay for other things outside, but you're not, you're not paying to play your sport, bro. In tennis. You literally need to pay to play your sport, no matter at what level. You have to pay entry fees. You have to pay your flight. You have to pay where you stay. You have to pay coaches to come with you. Bro, you have to pay literally everything. So when you're starting off and you're not getting money from the sport, like for top pros, that's nothing. That's who making hella bread. But when you try to start out and you have to play on the lower levels, bro, the, the entry fee for a tournament is like a, a couple bands. And if you win the tournament, say I were to win a low-level pro tournament, I may be making maybe like a two, three hundred dollar profit if I make a profit at all, because of all the other shit I gotta pay for. So then you gotta grind at the low level for so long to make money to eventually get to the higher level. And it's like you're competing with so many. It's just hard, bro. That's why, yeah, that's why a lot of who play tennis are rich already. They don't gotta think about that. Me, nigga, I'm not rich, so I can't. Like it will have to come out of my pocket. China hot dog in his hand like it's a blank. All right, man. My question. Stimmy. You're rich? Come on, bro. Okay, why you choose the name Sauce Kill? Is it because you're saucing and killing? Um, I've explained this a lot of times. I'll explain it again though, because I don't think the answer is anywhere. Um, basically, my lore. Yeah, I have answered this a million times. If you're in the streams consistently, you probably know. If you haven't, it's okay. I'm gonna explain it. Basically, bro, I used to. Like, I used to be a, not be a rapper, but I used to, like, on the internet, I used to be a rap. Like, I used to try to rap. Like, my freshman year of high school, I made music with my friends. If you don't know, like, Swede, uh, John, them, bro, we all had a group. We made music. So, I had, yeah, Five Star Buffet Boys. That's what it's called. So, I had a rap name. At first, my favorite, my favorite anime character is Sasuke, bro. I I love Sasuke, the nigga, the, his aura, everything, bro. That's my favorite anime. He probably my second favorite anime character of all time, after Lelouch. But I really fuck that nigga. So, at the time, my user was uh, my rap name was when I came up with it. It was Young Sauce, like Sauce, the word Sauce, and then K. So it was like kind of like a like a play on word. Y'all have to set up that command, right? So it was like a, a play on, on words. Did he eat all the Franks? Nah. So it was like a play on words, like Sauce Care, like Young Sauce Care. Um, But then, Swede, his name was like Swede Some. He had a different name, but then he ended up changing his name to Swede TYB. Me and him made hella music together. That was the name I was rapping with all the time. So I was like, okay, he's Swede TYB. Let me change my to Sauce TYB. I dick wrote him. So he was Swede. I was Sauce TYB. Eventually, as I got older... I was like, I start getting older. I think my junior year of high school, I'm like, yo, TYB, that shit kind of corny. Uh, I don't really want that name no more. So I changed my name from Sauce TYB. I was thinking like, what do I change it to? I was going to change it back to just Sauce K. But if you know, like when they say some K, a lot of times it mean like kill. Like when someone say this K, this K, whatever, it mean kill. 
So I was like, oh, that's kind of tough. Sauce kill. If I extend it to instead of sauce K, sauce kill. And that's basically uh, I got the name. It's kind it's kind of random, but yeah, the sauce always been a part of my name. If that makes sense. If y'all remember me from my music uh, when I used to be in Max videos and shit, it used to be Sauce Two Ibiza, but originally it was Young Sauce K. That's probably the last time I'm explaining this. Your sauce K. Come on, Red. J J C K. Yeah, Sauce. Yeah, it was Young Sauce K. Sauce Two Ibiza. Yeah. Would you rather watch Elliot get dunked on nuts in his mouth or watch Sophie take it from Mazin? Who the f*** asked this question, bro? I got to find this f*** that I and ban him from everything. Answer it. Kill, should I get Kaniac meal or no? You're not eating a whole Kaniac, can you? I know you seen Elliot in the shower. Was it big? Okay, this is see. This is not Yo, what we when's doing, bro. The next video on the Source Mate server. This is not what the Q and A was for. Come on, nigga. That ass. Let's let's lock in. Y'all wasting time. I'm three glizzies down. Would you rather go shopping in your underwear or go to the beach nude? Yes, I am. Y'all keep playing on Lil Kian. Triumphant face, triumphant face, triumphant you face. You a pro. Um, I probably think I'd rather go shopping in my underwear. Cause if I gotta go to the beach nude, I don't really like. I don't like people seeing me like, like on my like, on gummy. Like my not hard. I don't wanna walk around with soft. And if I'm hard, that's even weirder. So I don't know. There's kids. Well, I would think it's a adult. Nude beach. No, it's not. that's a place. What's the most down bad thing you've done for some pussy? When? Hmm. Most down bad thing. When I was in high school, I had a girlfriend, but I was too young. I didn't have a car. So, luckily, she didn't live that far from me, but I would walk to her crib. I would walk. Um, like, one time I walked in the snow. Like, like it was snowing. It was like a snowstorm. I walked up the hill in the snow. Bugging. I appreciate how Navia said my name during that prank call. Smiley face, smiley face, Demark. Yeah, so basically, yeah, I was just walking in the snow. All that to last five strokes? Hey, bro. Gotta do what you gotta do. But I never, I never done nothing crazy. I never done nothing crazy for a pussy. That's it. I never, yeah, I don't think I done nothing crazy. To be H. Probably that. Probably that. Let me get some. Get some what? Glizzies? Were you ever bullied? Nah. I was never bullied. I told y'all, bro. I used to be like... I used to have like motion when I was little. I never like... Always bully me. Hell yeah. Like, it was good, baby sugar. Just slap that fat ass forehead. Nah, I never got bullied. Now, I would tell y'all if I did. I would tell y'all if I did. I never MD, did. Now, you a pussy who gets bullied by me. Like, it's always with me. I think because I'm chill. Like, I, I, there's no reason for it to, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think if it's ever tried to, though. Oh. I told y'all about it when I was in second grade, and this one girl I really liked, she would like use me for shit, if that counts as bullying. And then she was like, no, I don't like you. Because you play tennis? 
to never. I don't know why y'all think I'm the answer key so I don't get bullied. I don't know why y'all think Stone I would ever get bullied for playing tennis. Like, you might be like, oh, this nigga play tennis, but nine out of ten can't say nothing to me. I just miss my Z man free her. Free Gazi. Nine out of ten can't say nothing to me because one, I went D1 and I was like the best. Bro, I broke like every record at my school, so couldn't really say nothing to me because I was tough. Like, if I was some who was ass and played tennis, like, maybe. But nine times out of ten, who, like, who gonna say something? Unless it's like a D1 basketball player or something. Uh, like another athlete of my caliber making fun of my sport, but nah. I'm talking about before high school, nah. When you're young, nobody cares. Honestly, most people think it's cool. Like, I know a lot of y'all be like, oh, what happens when a girl, you tell a girl you play play tennis, uh, D1 tennis. Bro, I feel like some people think it's like, oh, like, it's different. You know what I'm saying? I'm not the the normal, like, if that, if that makes sense. Do you use a real sports app? What the fuck is that? No hoes trying to hear a lot. I'm just saying, people in general are usually like, oh. Catch up on well, one time I got my Bro, Swiss roll cake stolen by a girl, but we knew she stole Then I was in elementary, like third, fourth grade. You got robbed? You Give us the like life story of Saul's kill. I'm not sweating. It's probably my lighting. Y'all want my life story, bro? We know you're enjoying taking down all five of these thick glicks. You can be honest. Look, bro. I told you I didn't eat all day, so I'm low-key like just eating these out of hunger right now. I at least starved myself because I was like, bro, they're going to make me eat hella glizzy. I'm going to the deli soon. Nice, kid. So you going to deli or canes, nigga? You going everywhere? Um. So basically, I'm still in there. Just beefing in a in a chat. Um, y'all want my life story? Uh, okay. I was What's born in Brooklyn. Name? Where are you from, and what was your childhood like? Yo, Gazzy, what the? F What's good? How many glizzies next? I got three more. Um, I was born in Brooklyn. Moved to West Orange, New Jersey. As a kid, um, my parents didn't want me going to school in Brooklyn. So, like, right when I was about to start school, we left. Um, living with Storage. Like I told you, I played tennis since I was, like, a baby. Because my dad played. So, I always played tennis. Narcane's TMRW, but the deli when I get my paycheck. This is a... This part of the... I don't think I ever told y'all this. Only my people who actually know me know this. But from first to fifth grade, I went to public school, right? And I was a pretty good tennis player. Um, so like I told y'all, tennis is really expensive. I never had, I never had uh money to play, um, like, like go at a club for real. Like my parents can afford it. But I got a scholarship to play at one of the best, uh, uh like tennis clubs in New Jersey. So like they were one of the best in the country, honestly, but one of the best in New Jersey. Uh, like I basically, I went for free cause I was black and broke. It was like, oh, let's, you know, do some charity work. So I went there. Um, in sixth grade, did Elliot ever play tennis? Yeah. In sixth grade, these um, asked me to join like academy. So basically what the academy was, was I would, I would literally Play tennis. I would do school in the morning, online school, for two hours, and then, and then, I would play tennis for the rest of the day, like four or five hours. So, I did that from like six to ninth grade. I was doing online school and playing tennis every day. So. A large chunk of my school was like basically homeschool. It was called like homeschooling, but I wasn't homeschooled.
because there was niggas. Seems lonely, yeah. I mean, it was like a, like, there were probably like 20 in my academy. Basically, Link Academy of Tennis, yeah, some shit like that, basically. Yeah. Like, it was like bored in tennis school. So I did that. Then I went back to regular high school because basically all my friends were older than me and they graduated. So once all of them graduated, I was so depressed. Like, I, I was so, I had no friends. So I was like, bro, I got to I gotta change, bro. Like, I got to do something else, bro. Like, this shit is, like, depressing. So I went to regular school. I went back to West Orange High School. Um, but when I went back, like, it was like I had a lot of friends and already because I grew up in the town and, like, niggas knew me. Didn't her mom use to teach at Link Academy? Nah, my mom never teach at Link. So, yeah, I went back. So it was it was cool, though. Just arguing in the chat, leave the beef at Discord. And then, yeah, I got a scholarship to play tennis at Howard. Played for four years. Now I'm here, finishing my classes. Streaming. Uh, I decided to stream last year. In January, or this year in January. And that's what, now we're here. You said West Florence? Nah, West Orange, West Orange. Hell yeah. What did you do to go up like you did? Uh... Damn. Honestly, I don't think I'm that up. I have a lot of work to do and like to grow the community the way I want to. But to get to the point where I'm at now, um, just like a lot of premeditated shit, like, like grinding and knowing what you want a to get out of it. You to get closer to Elliot. Nah. Um, basically, like. I told y'all I used to clip farm when I first started. Like I would send shit in myself. Like I would do shit, like confessions and I would send the confessions in myself. Like, cause I had no viewers to send. Shit. So, and then I would post it on TikTok, all that YouTube and you would see it and come to the streams. Um, I was lucky enough to have my brother, you know, Elliot, he did, like, when I started, he, he posted me as soon as I started. Like, that was supportive since the, since the start. I know a lot of y'all probably found me from his first post. I remember my first, the first week I hit affiliate, I had a, I had a hundred sub goal. Yeah, I know a lot of y'all was there for that. It's on my YouTube channel, all that. I had a hundred sub goal. And the, the goal was I was going to shave my beard. I thought it was going to take forever for me to hit a hundred, cause like I had just hit affiliate and I knew like that is a grind. Not a lot of people hit a hundred subs, it'll take a long time. And I didn't think a lot of people would pay to watch and and you know what I'm saying? September doesn't count for gifted, which yeah, it does Q. Um So I found you off the confession TikTok. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people found me from shit like that. But that was all shit I had premeditated. So then yeah, Elliot shouted me out on his story. I ended up getting a hundred subs in a day. And I just then my favorite from the deli is the spicy Italian sandwich. <laughs> and then since then, um, I had like a little bit of an audience. It wasn't crazy. If y'all was there, I probably started what like 10, 15 viewers. I never really had the like had to stream to nobody. Probably my first two streams I was streaming to nobody. But after that, I probably had like mi at minimum five. So I, you know, it was cool. I found you from Apex. I just gameplay cap. But yeah, I would say being consistent because I have as long, as much as y'all call me a part timer. I don't think I've ever took more than a week off when I was in Sweden. Sweden was probably the only time since I started streaming where I took an extended period of not streaming because I couldn't. Thank you, LaFrench. Um, as much as y'all tell me, call me a part timer and shit. I do stream a good amount. Um, that was a rough week for me. So being consistent and like, yeah, being premeditated, like having a vision in your head. Come on, Red. Like before I did the confessions, I knew how I wanted it to look. I knew what I wanted it to push out on TikTok. It'll send three um, gifted right if you do the head top dance. What is that? Oh, I don't know how to do that. But yeah, bro, you found me off my YouTube confession. I would say just be consistent and don't fall into like everybody else shit. Just do just do what you want, bro. Somebody said they found you from IG Explorer. That's crazy. My fits, yeah. A lot of people did. I also had a little bit of a fan base because of my 
TikTok. I used to post on TikTok like my fits and shit. I found you on Batty Hub. All right. Yeah, I used to post TikTok fits and like music. What are your favorite anime? Keep going up when you hit 10k, you finna blow up. I see it in you. Appreciate you, Subies. That ass. You post on your TikTok? Yeah. A lot of people find me on TikTok. Yes, with the bitch. Appreciate you, gang. Appreciate you, Yex. Wex in the chat. Um, My favorite anime? Yeah, it's Code Geass. Um, I don't know. I feel like my list changes. I'll just give out, like, no order. I like Code Geass, JoJo's. Attack on Attack on Titan, yeah, Hunter Hunter. Um High School DXD, nah. Um I'm trying to think. Death Note. Um What's some underrated shit? I'm trying to think of some underrated shit I really like. That's fire. The Roar I never won. I, I, I never you watched. I followed in 2023 because my cousin would glaze you on his story. Then I started watching early July. That's a W Glock. Love that source kill. Been here since January 16th and I'm still here for a reason. You're the one. I appreciate you. Appreciate you, kill. You gotta watch EP. One Piece Gang. I'm on One Piece. I'm on like 250 right now. Mob Psycho, I do like Saka. Oh, Killer Kill. I love, I fuck with, oh, a race, definitely. Um, bro, I've watched so much anime. Kaylin with the sub. Appreciate you, Kaylin. Thank you, W's in the chat. Love you, gang. Love you too, gang. The tongue, you ain't need that, though. Uh, yo, uh, everybody, Red is starting the, the, the Souls Kill Updates page. Souls Radar. Official update page for everything Souls Kill. W, yo. Everybody tap in. Go follow that. If you want to help out Red with the page, I think he needs help too. Damn, I'm low-key starting to feel nauseous from these glitches, bro. Shift hit my chest. Oh, I don't know if I can finish. How many you eat? Four and a half. Are you ever gonna have Elliot Tahad or IRL Street? Green apple or blue cherry Gatorade? Uh, neither. Blue cherry, I guess. Um, definitely. The thing is, bro, these niggas' schedules are like they have like two weeks out of the year they're free. Dead ass. If y'all want to be a D one basketball player, bro, these niggas have no time for nothing. Literally, no time for nothing. Like, it's hard to uh, to find free time where both of them are free at the same time. Um. But yeah, those are my n****s though. And then when I do see them, I don't see, I'm on five. And then when I do see them, it's like, those are my friends too. So like, I don't want every time I see these which is every once in a while, it was good camp, um, to be on camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want to be able to spend time with them. Gayest shit you ever caught Mr. Divine doing. Biggest inspo for streaming. Uh, I've explained this. I've told y'all that I've talked about this before. Growing up, like when I was younger and I watched streamers, the two streamers I really watched and were invested in for real, or I'd probably say three, were Solomonati when he used to stream. Um, RDC World, I liked everything about them. And then they started streaming. I remember when they first started streaming. And then Etika. RIP. Um, I used to watch Etika all the time. Uh, when he died, that's probably the worst celebrity or like influencer death that hit me, bro. Like that broke my fucking heart. Like, like I felt like it was someone I knew, bro. Died, bro. Um... Like, that shit was really with me for a long time. Um, but I used to love watching his streams. I used to watch it all the time. Um, but, yeah, those are probably the three main streamers that I watched. And like I tell you all the time, I do get some of my mannerisms from them. Did you cry? I don't think I cried, but I was just, 
Like I didn't like I was in my room, didn't talk to nobody for like a couple of days, bro. Like it was bad, bro. Attica, bro. Yeah. RP. Um, yeah, I hate I still hate, hate Keemstar to this day, bro. Did he die from cancer? Uh nah, suicide. Um, but yeah. It's just really sad. I yeah, I hate Keemstar. That's um But yeah. Other than that, I do tell y'all all the time, Max inspired me a lot because I've known I've known Max, you know, before he started streaming. And I seen Max is the first. Yeah, bro. Basically, Keemstar said, like, if you keep talking about killing yourself, why don't you just do it? Basically, that's what he told him. Like, and then he went to kill himself. Um, so. Yeah, so I know I knew Max before the stream and shit. Um, we were cool. We were friends. Basement boys worked a lot with him. And then I saw him stream. So with Max, bro, I was in like his first ever stream till now. So I seen the grow. Like I I watched him from that point all the way till now. And that's probably the only streamer I've really watched in that in this time period, like recent time period. I don't really watch a lot of other streamers. Um, but seeing that. Um, like inspired me because he sh like I seen what it takes to go from like, like, um, basically nothing to where he at now. So I like I seen the layout. Like I get how interact. I get the work ethic and the it take. It was good time to like get to the point where he at because I seen it happen in real time. When you see something happen in real time, it helps you because now I kind of know where I should be, what I should be doing. If my growth is on par to what his is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, with Drip and, and uh, uh, Young Chris, you know what I'm saying? How old were you when you met Max? Um, I I probably met him when we were younger, but I really started talking to him in high school. The best advice is self-experience. Yeah, so basically I experienced, I basically will like feel like I was with the for the whole ride. So now as I stream, I could kind of do it myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I've seen it. Every, every other streamer I watched, I never seen grow for organically from the time they started to where I started watching them. You know what I'm saying? I'm I am the only one that stopped watching streamers once they blow up. He made it easy for you to start. Basically, I learned from that. You're talking about Platy. Yeah, I'm talking about Max. Um, tight date. But yeah, no, I get what you're saying, Kay. I, and I tell y'all all the time, I see the appeal for spoiler streamers for why I want to watch them because I respond to every chat. React to every sub, every donation. It's harder when you wait when you watch other st big streamers. They might get a f sub and not even say your name. And I remember when I was younger, and I used to watch these streamers. When I used to watch so, when I used to watch RDC, when I used to watch Etika, I used to be like so like every time I subbed, my whole thing was I couldn't wait for them to like call my name out, say thank you to me. That was my whole thing. So I hope, bro, when we get bigger, I'm, I'm I don't like I'm gonna stop saying if when we get bigger, when we grow more. I never want to, I know it's damn near impossible, but I never want to miss us. Uh, like, I, I want to make sure everybody feel welcome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it used to make my day, bro. So I know how other feel when they do that. Because a lot of y'all are young. $5, so what is, how much does that now? Like $7, bro? That is bread. You know what I'm saying? For for somebody who might not be working. This so, like, I get that. Like, like, it's a lot. For when you eat a Frank, do you think about sucking a Will you ever cut your hair? Um, I think it depends. Like, what my career path is. How old I get. Probably when I get older. That was me, go. crying face, crying face. Like, I used to have crying curls. Face, crying you think your face, hair stopped you from getting tired? face. Realistically, yeah. Face. But, we'll see. I don't... The thing Fate is, who unknown is the Fortnite player? He sung "Happy Birthday to Me." T S Deadass made my day like I was happy for a week. I know who you're talking about. Um, but the thing with me, bro, like, and I tell y'all this all the time. I'm like a tatted. Are you gonna be a sixty-year-old man with an arm sleeve? 
I'm like a tatted got dreads, beard, uh, earrings. Like I don't in like the way I dress, I dress real, real, uh, you know, not very professional. I don't really want to be the type of that change my, I don't want to change myself to conform to other, to conform to other, you know what I'm saying? Just cause a job want me to be this way. If a job don't want me the way I am, I feel like I don't want to work there. If that makes sense. Cause this is me. I don't want to change my, change my identity. I don't want to change my identity, um, to fit in, to do some, you want to be saggy with tats and trades. Um, so yeah, bro, I don't really, and that's why I like streaming. Cause I could just get on here, be myself, just how I want, talk how I want. Um, obviously there's certain shit you can't say, but it's not, it's not shit I would ever say. So, yeah. And I would tell y'all too, bro, be yourself. Just because, like, might want you to conform. Don't do that, bro, if you don't want to. I'm going to just stop showing the dumb questions. Um, what's the wildest thing that ever happened at your high school? Um, Max, I'll see. Like... I always like like anime and Pokemon and nerdy shit when I was little. Um and didn't clown me for it, but my friends were like, yo, you're weird, like, hey, you in high school playing Pokemon, like what the f Bro, I never cared. Like I never cared what other thought for real. What's good, J. Cole? What's good, Car uh Kari? You good, Cole? We doing a QA right now. Glizzy Muck man. Wildest thing that happened in my high school, gender neutral bathrooms. Oh yeah, people definitely got f in gender neutral bathrooms. But I'm trying to think, what well, like the craziest thing? Cause a lot of crazy shit happened. But I'm trying to think the craziest shit. There was an all out fight one year. It was before I got there though, so I don't know if that counts. But I seen the video. My school got them too. Like when I tell you the fight, like the whole cafeteria started all out brawl. Like every table, everybody was throwing chairs. Table. I don't know what got every in there so mad. Start throwing and fighting, but every it was like a Royal Rumble. Nigga. Every in there was fighting. There were probably like a couple of that ran out. Gender neutral, yeah, I know, Cardi. But the video is crazy. If I ever found that, shit, I'll tell, I'll show y'all niggas. That shit was crazy. Did someone get leaked? Oh yeah, bro. My school used to have like exposed pages and. Shit. Craziest thing that happened at her school was when you got you butt ate behind the stairs. Remember when Elliot told us. Come on, bro. Do there be a lot of fights at Howard? Um, there don't be fights, but a couple times there's fights, bro. I think last year when we was moving in, a got jumped right in front of my building. A got jumped and got stabbed. Um, but he got jumped by like non-students. It was like a group of like young. It was like, bro. There's a video too. It was like twenty got like got on that nigga. But they don't really fight in, in college like that because most of them are, like, there for school. And, but, yeah, they jumped at It was a bunch of young and girls. Like, girls was jumping him, too. I don't know. It was it was a bunch of, like, like that didn't even go there. Because how we're in the middle of D.C., so a lot of, a lot of, um yeah, last year, a lot of people would pop out to that. Because the parties be lit, all that. So, who don't go to school pop out. What bro do? I don't know what he did, but he got jumped bro, like bad. I'm like, I don't know. Why you being a meat monster and you 30? All right, niggas can't be meat monsters. Some bitch killed a baby last year. What the? F mm. What shows do you watch? Um, I don't watch a lot of like regular shows for real. I watch mostly anime. Right now, I'm watching One Piece. I'm watching Anohana. One of my guilty pleasures is I like watching like romance anime. Oh, regular show. I do like watching cartoons like Adventure Time. That's my favorite show. Um. I haven't finished it though. Don't spoil it. I'm on like episode four. 
I love Adventure Time, regular show, uh, Gravity Falls, shit like that. But I like watching uh, like romance movies, anime. Romance only anime, animes though. fight win. You found a vid that I I can't show it though because it's blood. Like you can at least see the gushing blood. You see, I don't have it from the tweet I commented on. Yeah, but I was like, I had it in my list, so I just. What about Power? No, I never watched Power. I watched a season of Ghost though because my my roommate. First anime. My first ever anime was, um, Dead Man Wonderland. I used to watch it when I was little on TV. If y'all seen that shit. This shit made me cry tears. Yeah, I haven't gotten that deep, but the the saddest animes I've watched. I used to watch Dragon Ball Z when I was a little ass kid, too. pick my deli order for next time I go there. What type deli you got? Um, y'all watch Plastic Memories? That shit's sad as fuck. Um... Planet. I'm trying to think what else. One of my favorite animes too is um is what's it called? I can't think of it. Um My first anime was Digimon only real no one. Oh yeah, I used to watch Pokemon. I used to watch One Piece too, but I never like understood the story. I used to watch it when it was on like like on the TV, like early Sunday mornings. Um Kagi oh, Love is War, Kagi Sama. A comic got killed was sad. But Kaguya Sama not uh Love is Word not sad. But I watched a lot of sad ass enemies too. My first she was Pokemon XYZ series. <laughs> Elliot watch anime, hell yeah. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Who are your top 10 favorite viewers outside of Gifters? Uh, I love all y'all the same. <laughs> I don't want to pick favorites, nigga. I do love y'all though. Like, everybody who watch, like, that ass, I mean that, bro. I mean this. Like, anything y'all need, bro, I got y'all. Like, y'all can reach out if y'all having problems. Like, um, I know people are like, oh, you don't know your viewers, like, um, it's like a parasocial relationship, but I feel like I actually like know y'all, even though I don't even know what half y'all look like. I text you on IG. IG hard to answer. Your best bet probably Discord. Kill never responds to me, cap. But I talk to y'all in here. This nigga lying. He wouldn't do shit. Nigga, what? Let me borrow ten bands. All right, let's be realistic. Would you stab someone for me if we were in jail together? Facts. Yeah, for sure. Give me some Balenci. All right. Text you where? Friend me on Discord. I got most of y'all added, but y'all can always talk to me here. Like when I'm live, when do I not talk to y'all? When y'all say something to me. Bumba is his favorite viewer. Bumba, you Bumba ain't been in here recently, bro. After Bumba came back from Thailand, he's like a changed man. Top can three art, artists and kill crew. Cold. I got you, Yex. Top three artists and kill crew. Just message me. Uh I had to say probably GL. Kizo, Celiante, probably. Probably them three. But we have a lot of crazy. Also, with it, yeah. I also found them, like, organically. So that is, like, tough to me. Favorite clothing brands, like, designer. Can you like, ask Elliot to give me some basketball tips? Uh, I, If he on here, he'll probably. Is ex I, I'm guessing me ecstasy. Uh, I wouldn't say, you know. I'm fat and dumb. No, you're not fat, Bumba. Come on, bro. You just got to get back in your zone, bro. You was a guy. You was a badass. You're not giving any tips. Uh, Probably Balenci right now. I'll fuck with everything Balenci dropped. Did Elliot get a two-strand and twist out? Nah, he never got two strands. Have I missed a stream? I don't know. What's your goal with the streaming shit? Um... Honestly, I want to like I'd like to be a full time streamer so I could focus on just getting content out for y'all and like not really have to worry about other shit. like if I can make enough money to live off this, I I don't even got to be on no super 50k a week like these other get bro. Just enough to live um, instead of switching, I'm gonna just switch. I say. Realistically, I've told y'all this before. I really want 
my calm. I want to create a space where like that helps y'all, bro. Because I feel like growing up, there was times like I didn't really like wasn't enjoying myself and didn't really have a, a place to to talk to or just like chill. I hope um, like our calm becomes really welcoming. I hope that this don't as we get bigger, this don't change because I feel like it's good where we at now community wise and how everybody support each other. I really just want to save space for my viewers um, and where all the people in here could thrive. Yeah. And we don't call niggas new gens and shit like that. Um, yeah. There was a point where this was getting mad. Chat. Welcome. Welcome in. Hell yeah. I want everybody to feel like they could just jump in here. Like it's not like no f click. You know what I'm saying? And I also want to like make it big enough so I can help fractured my right all my viewers with whatever they need for like six weeks person face palming olive Damn, skin Jay. like there's a lot of in here that are funny as that have helped me with so much content like gabe chop platy bro there's hella that are funny as hell that could be cool ass content creators and i hope that eventually i get the platform that i can help them too um not saying they need to put on or nothing but like where I get to the point where I could just support and that it, it actually do something on some type dick. Cause bro, honestly, without y'all, what the fuck would I do? Like y'all are the funny ones. It's just my, me reacting to y'all most of the time. If we keeping it real. Would you ever get a real job broke boy? If it comes to it at the end of the day, I got to grow up and like pay bills. And um, but I'm not going to give up on the streaming unless I really need to. Um, but if I need to get a real job while I stream, I'll do it. On some tight day. Right now, I don't have a job now. Bro, I'm actually sick from the lizard. No, I'm actually sick from this shit. Could you please send Elliot to Elliot send you the sky's the limit hat on the shoulder? Yo, Jack, are you in here? We should start a GoFundMe so you can stream forever. <laughs> Brad, just support the stream. Y'all been going crazy though. Seven hundred subs is nuts. Yo, Jack, bro, this Jack copied this whole leg sleeve, and you want his arm sleeve too? Yo, Jack, I'm not gonna lie, bro, you got chill. <laughs> bro, have y'all seen Jack leg sleeve? Bro, come on, bro. Stop being late. Yo, yes, with 100 bits. Appreciate you, bro. Jet copy Elliot Tat. Hold up. Let me show y'all. Yo, send me the chi jump. You do got it. Hi, I'm back from my football game. Let's go, Paul. Give me the arm sleeve, please. Come on, I'll donate subs RN for that MF. Yo, Chuck, bro. You don't want... Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. You don't want all your tasks to be the same as an, another bro. You might right now, but that shit permanent on your body, bro. In a couple of years, you're going you to want some other shit. Get a KK tag. I want to get KK. I'll tell y'all a thousand. I'm going to get KK tag. I want to get it. I want to get I don't need to finish my arm. Can I play for Team Elliot? Eagles with a gifted. <laughs> Appreciate you, Eagles. Thumbs in the chat. Eagles. Where can I donate subs? What you mean? Dream car. I don't really have a dream car. Um, for real, I'm not really a car. I was never really into cars growing up. I'll probably say, "Hey, Eagles, Bumba here. Thanks for that. I appreciate it." I do like Beam Beamers a lot. 
Nah, that's my dad. I do like beamers. I'll probably, I want to get like an M5. Now 10k subs got to get type tatted. At 10k? That's kind of crazy. I only get an M5 if I ever get that rich. Going to sleep tonight. Damn, Eagles. Dream job? I guess streamer. Damn if Eagles What's Elias' workout routine? He, uh, he got a he got a bounce program. You can go buy it. It's in his bio. On some tight Let's talk about the story on how I gooned in class. There was this bad John, and she had a thick ass. So I had this fat ass coat on. So I was in the back of the class while they was doing group work. Her was looking so fat. I had to bust a fat load on everyone in the room. What? Tell your bot to put a link where I can sub. New exclamation mark sub, Chuck. Hey, what is this nigga talking about? With how your life is going, do you get stressed or get scared when thinking about failure since you didn't get accepted to your uh, job? Um, this is a pretty deep question. Yeah, of course. Um, I'm finna whip out my cock. Yeah, just go ahead, time out, game. Uh, Don, please. Um... Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I be thinking about it a lot. Like, I tell y'all all the time, I am old. Like, I'm grown. I don't really have the time to, like, just, like, just do this shit out of, like, just for the love of the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got to pay bills and I got to be able to do certain shit, support my family. Like, I want my parents to be comfortable. I don't want them to have to support me. Um, so like there is certain I got to do just because of how old I am. So sometimes I do question if going so hard with the stream is be honest with me, Justin, like forget about the stream and she are in Hauser mental health. Are you good? Yeah, I'm straight. But sometimes I do second guess, not second guess, but I do think about like if it's the, if I'm doing the right only cause like I said, I am a lot older. Um, and I do got it like life, like I got to deal with life, like real life. So, um, I kind of just do this shit, though. Like I just kind of put my head down and do it. Yeah. I'm just personally, I'm just really, how old am I? I'm 22. I'll give you my life savings if you broke tongue. Thank you, Kaylin. But me personally, bro, I'm just very logical and I'm a realist. So I don't, that's why it's hard for me to believe in myself sometimes because even like getting to this point, I probably wouldn't have thought I would be as successful as I am now. If you had asked me. Yo, Jack with the 10 gifted. Nigga really want that tech. Appreciate you, Jack. Love you, gang. All right, I'll ask it for you, bro. I'll ask. But yeah. Um. Failure. I don't really, I guess. Bra, I'm not playing. Yeah. I love you, Sauce Tana. I'm 18 and stressing R and win. I'm 18, bro. Here you go. Bro, y'all 18. I'm boot to donate again. Hold up. Bro, the thing about failure is you can't. And I've told y'all this a lot, bro. Ken, you're not a failure. You don't say that, bro. You're you're 13, bro. You're 14. You have a lot of life. And 18, bro. Y'all young. Y'all got a lot of time. I know on the internet they can make you feel old. And I've told y'all this a lot of times. Um, growing up, like I've tried to do content. I've tried to do this shit before. This is not. This is not um, like something new. I told y'all I used to make YouTube videos. Um. I used to make TikToks. I used to, um, I used to stream. I I actually used to stream in 2020. I used to just stream games though. I with no cam, like I thought it was Rage or something. <laughs> but like I tried all this shit and I tried promoing my, promoting myself, put myself out there. But every time I did it, I just got scared and thought about how I wasn't gonna succeed and I would look stupid, like. I would stop myself because I thought about failing, if that makes sense. 
Um, so I would always like stop doing this. Shit. Like I would always stop, but content is something I, I always wanted to do. So then when I started streaming this year, I kind of just took the, I kind of just took the risk and said, yo, you act with the resub. Appreciate you gang. Tight dick. Yo, Chuck with another 10 gifted. Cardio with the radio. Y'all going crazy. What the f And we hit 750. Holy sh**, we hit 750. We gotta buy another team move for y'all. W750 subs, bro. This is the most subs we ever had. I love y'all, bro. That ass kill crew shit, bro. I mean that shit. What the fuck on your My name keep test me. She trying fuck. Nympho. I put that shit on her, bro. She like it was that. You know it's the five. Nigga. But yeah, bro. Next with another hundred. Holy sh**, bro. <laughs> Love you. Appreciate you. Wait, and I wasn't streaming. Uh. But look, you can't you can't think about failure because think about failure is gonna stop you from doing a lot of things. When I started doing the streaming, shit, I was just like, Fuck it. I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna take the risk. I bought a PC. And I just started doing it, bro. Then look where we at, bro. We're real. Community doing real things. I lay on this. So don't let failure, the thought of failure, get to you. Because you can't fail if you never try. And if you never try, it's damn near the same thing as failing. Okay. Junk another five. Holy shit. Nigga's going crazy today, bro. Junk, I love you. I'm going to get you that tat. Double <laughs> calm. I got you. Your call I'm chat moving fast. Let me tap. As my Come on, bro. Give I got you, Judge. I got you. I'm going to ask him after the stream. Uh, how long do you see yourself streaming? I don't know. A lot of these be like, who are old streamers? How old Dante? Yo, good, P. Like 30 some? I feel like I could stream for a while. Los. This is old. Flight. 32. Yeah, I think I could, I see myself streaming for a while. I mean, if it's if it ends up being my career, I would not mind streaming until I get older, bro. I do think though, eventually, I wanna venture into when I have like a more of a fan base, I wanna venture into YouTube, like vlogs and like that too. Juggle with another. All right, Jack, you got it. Jack, you got it. You got it. I'm going to ask him. You got it. Jack, you got it. Jack, you got it. You got it. You got it, bro. You got it. Holy s***. Jack, back at number three in the leaderboard. Holy s***. You slide me the tack while you were it. Cardi drop. Cardi drop? It was good, Gio. Said go to 800. Damn. All right, let me change. How the f we hit that? Bro, y'all are insane. Yo, I need all my yo. If y'all lurking and don't have a sub, please sub, yo. I'm trying to hit. If y'all look at my page, you might see a goal, a, a plus. It's called like a, a Twitch plus goal. I'm trying to hit a, a 100 individual subs for this month so i could get uh more sub revenue bro that shit would help a lot he dropped baby boy send link y'all trolling y'all trolling what did you do on the streams when you just started um i did a lot of like interactive i did um, I did like, like, uh, I did the confessions. I rated fits. Yo, EP with the sub. Appreciate you, gang. All that. Shit. Who your top five with? Top five with. Yeah, I started playing games like that. That I didn't need that much of an audience to do. Basically, sure, I could do myself. What's the title? Sport versus stomping. Oh, shit. 
Tight date, tight date. Hey, chat, we almost had 800. What's the 800 sub goal? Wait, what was the 800 sub goal? I'm down. I think, was it wax legs? No, I can't get wax. When's park takeover? I explained to y'all that the max stream was basically the park takeover. But we going to do one again. Wax legs, was it? You need a full body wax. Library probably this week. Timu fit, yeah, we got to get the Timu fit though. I have one in Jersey, but what was your biggest risk taken in your streaming journey so far? Juggle with another five? What the? Oh, Bro, I genuinely can't get over her. It's crazy how I didn't do nothing with her and she is on my mind 24 7. I tried to move on so much. Bro, this. Yes, with a five! Test me, she's your fuck, Nepo. I put that shit on her bro. She like it was that, you know it's the five. Single. I used to watch Hood Spongebob as a little kid, crying face, crying face. How are y'all feeling today, bro? What's what y'all feeling like tonight, bro? I lay y'all niggas. W Jug, W Yex, bro. I lay y'all niggas. Bro, I lay y'all. Real talk, bro. Y'all are crazy. These got motion. We got rich in the chat, bro. Holy shit. Jug at 145. Holy shit. 776. God, this shit don't even look real. We gonna hit, hit this 800. F it. We gonna hit 800. F it. I didn't think we would, but we gonna hit it, bro. Uh, the question is, what's your biggest risk taking in your streaming journey so far? SpongeBob and a rich kill. I used to watch Hood SpongeBob. I think I seen it. Uh, biggest risk? I don't think I took anything crazy. I think when I bought my PC, probably that was because I spent a good amount of money. I spent like nine hundred dollars. It wasn't really in my budget. We have four out of a hundred. Bad, bad, bad. We gonna hit. We gonna hit this hundred. Um, it was kind of a risk, like just st starting in general. I would say. When you um, do in Glizzy Mukbang. I would also say. I when streamed all summer. Day, I wasn't working. Word on stream. I would say. I would say t uh, streaming over trying to get jobs too, at the moment, because I could be making more money if I, I had an actual job. But I fuck with the streaming. Yo, Paul, what? All right, we got to get to 1K. Come on, you can do this. They didn't believe in you and you did it. Hell yeah. Is that Bumba? W motivation. He didn't want me dead. What is your biggest pet peeve in general when it comes to men and women? Um, I'll probably say people who aren't them, like people who act Oh my god, Juck! Juck, you're bugging. Juck, you're bugging. Juck, you're bugging. This, oh my god, this nigga's rich. Juck, I love you. I'm gonna get you the tag, yo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get you the tag, gang. <laughs> Bro, y'all, this is some. crazy. Shake some, okay, okay. Holy Bro, these niggas going band for band. Holy What's the link? Yo, my repent link. Holy Yo, Juck, you're insane, bro. I'm going to get you the shit, bro. Did I miss the mukbang? I'm on the last one. I feel sick as I'm going to have to wait a little bit till I start eating this shit. Hey, dude, this Bumba. Tennis served this purpose for the time, but you're onto better things, and you could go play tennis anytime. Facts. I think I'm going to, like, join a tennis club, play for fun, and beat up on Source old people. is so inspirational because he has more subs than a good 90% of the people with tier over two? That was a tier two followers. Holy s***. <laughs> yeah, I, bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. We have so many subs, bro. For a creator, for a creator with my views and my following, bro, we have so many subs. Like, people probably think my shit fake, bro. If people see me hit this much subs, they probably think it's like a fake count or some shit. Tier two is like uh more expensive than a tier tier one. Like get more benefits. People with that ass probably like, yo, that Yix with another fucking sub. Bro, y'all niggas are crazy. I love y'all niggas, bro. But yeah, they probably think we like be faking. Who gifted it. all these? 
Holy shit. Bro, what was we at at the start of the stream? Like 720? The subathon views. Was at an all-time high? Yeah. Whenever I do an event, my my views are going to be higher. Y'all got to understand that. Like, if I do a subathon 24, anything that's planned and, like, Can like I, I promote is going to do guns. better. Yeah, yeah, I got you, Yex. Hold up, Yex, say something Just real quick so I can copy you. Just a message on Discord about judging the song wars. I legit folded. I heard it was legendary. Yeah, that shit was lit, Phil. Should have joined that. Let's do Tamu Fit RN. Right now, once we finish this Q&A, bro, I got We'll do a couple more questions. I got to finish this glitzy and shit. Hold up. All right, I got to copy your user because you have a million Wise. I FR am going to sleep. Love this group we next up. I swear to Can Jesus I Christ, you, this community changed my life when I was at my lowest. Y'all deserve it all, KK, for life. Hey, bro, you know I'm here for you whenever, man. Have a good night, though. I'm going to catch you tomorrow. WEP, I'm hungry. W Q crew, bro. We really, bro. We really a family, bro. And this is what I want. This is what I talk to y'all when I say I want this to be a, a safe space for everybody, a place where people can feel better about themselves. Like I never want people to feel uncomfortable, get bullied in this calm. Like, bro, this is for everybody. If you ever having problems, you should be able to come here and have a good time, bro. If nothing else going good in your life, bro, at least the calm should be, bro. And if and if y'all ever feel like you're you're you don't feel wanted in the calm or like or like uh, um, people are being mean to you or anything, bro, let me know. Let me know, bro. I promise I'll fix it for you. We like the 2K streams. Do you? Shake with the Nike pros? All right. Uh, why are you taking an extra year of college? Okay, so COVID, I thought I was going to play another year of tennis. I also changed my major. So because of those two things, I planned out the way I, my credits and a little differently than someone with four years would. When I tr when I changed my major, I had to transfer schools because um, I was in a college of arts and sciences because I was a, a political science major. I had to switch my school in a college. Some of y'all probably don't know this because y'all young, but in a college, there's schools within your school. So there's a school for sciences. There's a business school. There's an art school. There's a bunch of different schools within a school. So I basically had to transfer schools. And when you do that, um, it... Like, I, I had to drop, like, a lot of the classes I took my freshman year didn't count towards my degree. So, that's basically why it took me a little longer to graduate. When will you start doing more IRL content? Bro, I told y'all. Um, Why is... <laughs> Alright, bro. I told y'all that, um, that I don't, I'm really not, I don't really like IRL. Yeah, Kim, I'm not really comfortable IRL. I feel like IRL, I just got to go outside and be obnoxious and, and clip farm. I like IRL when I have something planned, like if we're playing sports or we're doing an event. But, like, I don't just want to pick up my camera and start walking outside. One, because I think it's boring. Two, if I'm just doing that, y'all just want to see me run down, talk to girls, which is not really my thing. I don't really like doing that. Um, So, unless it's, like, something planned, like we're going to go play tennis, go play basketball, go shopping, um, date stream, like some like that where it's planned out and i have shit for y'all i don't really like irl we're going to do a tennis stream the 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 library tts is the next irl probably sometime this week i, heard I just need to find you a know day is on the streets of montclair rn since he got kicked out the basement okay what go out to eat yeah when you went got the icae bowl and went thrifting was calm yeah that's true doing do something at like a nigga get on a date what you mean Ken? Do a Duke Dennis. Like, yeah, I'm not just going to... I just don't like booting up my camera and walking around with my friends, if that makes sense. We're doing confessions. Got the craziest one. We're not doing confessions today. We're just doing a QA. and a We're probably going to do a confessions uh, uh, another day. Favorite phase member right now, new and old. Um, I'll probably say Max, because that's my man's. But old, I wasn't really that much into phase. I used to watch, like, Rice Gum and them. I used to watch, like, Banks content. I never really watched COD phase. I used to watch phase swag. Um, when he was doing, uh, like Warzone content, and I think even before then, we used to do like Advanced Warfare. Shit. Advanced Warfare. Shit. Um, I used to watch that. Really, I don't think.
Jeff is good too. I used to watch Jeff. Yex with another hundred bits. But I wasn't a big phase dude, to be like completely honest. I was I will that wasn't really my side of YouTube. 2021, 20 2020, 21 took you with something else. I wasn't all bunch of him back then. Appreciate 100 bits, yeah, bro. Y'all are crazy today. What's the biggest tournament you won? If you're talking about tennis, I won uh, like a set. The biggest tournament I won was probably like a sectional tournament. I won this this one tournament that you was Low Gang or Jake Pollard. I was not watching either of those. I was watching Rice Gun back then. Uh, I was, like I tell you, I was, I'm a better doubles player than singles. I won this really big doubles tournament. It was like, they have one every couple months. It was called like Empire Cup. Uh, it was like the biggest tournament in the section. It was the biggest tournament that wasn't national. That wasn't a national. Um, that's probably. And then I won a national level three. Those are probably the two biggest tournaments. What's in the back of that Pikachu? All right, bro. You look mad right now. Come on, bro. And I just twerk for. You run 2K with how I got to ask him, bro. How the busy. You know, Osama said, nah, I don't know. Elliot Duda. Sophie here. Adios. Sophie's live, boy. We not watching you. What's some way you made money when, uh, when besides a job? So I'm guessing like what other ways I made money? Uh, I was there from when you was at 50. 50. Oh, yeah, Cam. Um, that's good voice. Hey, fears a fathom. What's that? I'm on my last glizzy, bro. Y'all want music? The thing is, if we make this into a YouTube video, I don't want copyright. That's the only thing. Um, besides a job, I i mean, aside from streaming, I used to give tennis lessons. That's how I made a good amount of money when I was younger or like in the past recent years because um, like tennis, people would like want private lessons and you could, you could charge like $50, 60 an hour. An hour. So, like, I, I do like two, three lessons a day. That's a hundred something dollars. I used to do that. If I wanted to, bro, I could be a tennis coach. They make a good amount of money, bro. I'm not going to lie. Because tennis, I told y'all, is an expensive sport and it's rich people play it. So, bro, I used to, one summer I was teaching at a club. They was paying me like, I think it was like 27 an hour. And then on top of that, every lesson was 65. So I was making, there was one summer I was getting good money, bro. But then they didn't hire me again. I don't know why. Even though I was like the best coach they had. But, bro, tennis coaches make a good amount of, bro, they make like upwards of six figures, bro. How long the sessions? A lesson is usually an hour. But you can get money, bro. That ass. So if I ever like, bro, if, if my, if streaming don't work out, if streaming don't work out and I can't find a job because of my uh, internet, uh, Digital footprint, I'll just be a tennis coach probably, even though I don't really want to do that. Get good money. First doing it story time. I've I've given that story so many times, bro. Are you related to Gabe that used to be in stream? No. Everybody thinks we're twins, bro. You, literally, me and Gabe would walk around campus. People would literally stop us and ask us if we're twins. I, I swear. Even though we're so different in height, we I feel like we don't look the same. Everybody asked if we was related, not us. One time I was doing this modeling shoot with this girl and she was like, oh, unk, unk. They're talking about unk. Don't quit. I'm not going to quit, bro. But I was doing this modeling stream, uh, modeling stream, modeling shoot with this girl. And she was like, oh, I always see you walking around campus with your twin. Like, that's so cool. Like, I feel like that's so cool. I'm so jealous. I don't have a twin. I'm like, yo, that's not my twin. <laughs> But sometimes we would lie. Sometimes we'd be like, yeah, we're twins. Just to f with people. What has college taught you the most about how to be successful in life? College, honestly, has probably taught me. And growing up, growing older, the probably the most. Can we get Sophia back on stream? Y'all want to see Sophia again? 
bro, the the most the probably the most important thing I think in life is connections, bro. Like um your grades, everything else, bro. When you're in college, meet people and connect with them. Because your connections, bro, like it's super hard to get a job nowadays. It's super hard to pursue certain things. But you can get those things with connections. Like you being cool with this one could get you an opportunity somewhere. Yeah, networking. Networking in general. Just like how me being friends with Max has helped me with my streaming. How me, even though like it's it's a it's a we're just because we're friends, you know what I'm saying? It's not like I get anything. It's not like I'm take it's hard to explain. But if you're friends with people, it's gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Like you never know, bro. Your college roommate might end up being the next Bill Gates. You don't know, bro. So just be cool with niggas, treat everyone with respect, be nice. Um and yeah. All right, right. What job was you trying to get out of college? I was just gonna work any type nine to five office, bro. On some type dick. Thank you, Drake. Cardi dropped. I'm trying to get my suck dad. Appreciate it. That was my question. No problem. Anna. Connects is key. Yeah, for sure, bro. That ass. That's how you. That's how you get. Like, bro, I got a crazy internship two summers ago just because of my connects, bro. And a lot of struggle to get hired. Most jobs. Most people get jobs through connections. I swear. It's not through no interview process. It's from knowing and work or do something there, and they put you on. Internships. Yeah, bro. Voicey with the gifted. Appreciate you, Voicey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was in the chat. Appreciate you, bro. Fave NBA team. I'm a Nets fan, sadly. I'm a Nets fan. I've always been a Nets fan since they used to be in New Jersey. But they're the, probably the worst franchise of all time. So I usually root for the Thunder because uh, I'm in love with Shea. Can you buy me a PS5? Uh, I don't got motion like that. Have you ever been heartbroken? I think so. Yeah. When I, my first breakup. Probably. I support all the gays of KK. Uh, yeah, shout out, to, shout out to Kill Crew Gang. How tall are you? Realistically, I'll tell y'all this. I'm like 6'1.5". So I jack six two because you know you got round up on some type of for the hus. But uh, yeah, when I wear shoes, I probably say two. Night bat, night bot on that type day. Yeah, night bot, no bro. Take your shirt off, please, bro. If I'm six two, you six two. Wait, you're six two, bro? Yeah, I feel like we was like the same way. Shout out to Justin Gayus and KK. Don't you have another TikTok? What you mean, Voicey? Like uh, I do have like an account. I just be spamming on five star soldier. So what is Elliot? Me and Elliot, them they're the same height. I'm probably a little taller. How tall is Hot? Be honest, Hot is grown. I feel like Hot like my height. Top three favorite rappers, all time right now. Lucky Summers, V's probably right now. I listen to the most. Are you related to Diddy? No. Do you think it would be easier blowing up stream with a group of people like FaZe, MP, DRK, or is this something you'd want to do independently? Uh, I've told y'all a bunch of times, if I feel like I'm posting on TikTok, I started a new account, uh, just be consistent, gang, and like try to like match what you see in your algorithm. Um, uh, I'd join a group if it was some like people I generally f with. I would never just join some just to join some. Shit. Um, and I think it is easier to blow up with people because that's different communities almost merging together, and you get seen doing shit with them. It's like it's like good exposure for everyone. Like whenever people do shit with other people and collab, collabing is a big part of blowing up. Like if I want to get bigger, I tell y'all all the time, I feel like collabing with niggas is the next step for me. So if y'all have any creators y'all want to see me collab with and do shit with, um, just let me know, bro. And I'll try to reach out because I don't got no problems with nobody. I'm open to do a stream with anybody unless they are weirdo. Um, realistically. Only one thing can really blow up in a group, not gonna lie. No, I don't think that's true. I think when uh, them 
after that DYK shit, all of them was blowing up. AMP helped all of them. FaZe, all of them have grown. Literally all of them. When I met Justin, this nigga inspired me. How I inspire you? You rocking Bay Putty with essential shorts. Never could be for you. <laughs> How about... If you get big, are you going to stay in Jersey or move? You mean big, big streaming-wise? I'm not going to lie. I don't really know uh, where I would where I would move. I always think about it. I always wanted to live. I always wanted to move to New York because I love, like, I with the city. Uh, I go to New York all the time. The thing with New York is it's so expensive. So expensive. So expensive. I think if I am a streamer, if I am a streamer, and depending on what I'm doing, like if I'm just in front of my computer all day, I would probably want to go somewhere where it's cheaper to live. Like, yeah, somewhere like Texas or like or Florida. I don't know. Somewhere where it's cheaper to live. But I don't know. It depends. Jersey is expensive to live to get my own place. Wait, Cities since are hard. you moved, why don't you try to get GG back? Bro, I, I gave her to new owners. I can't just take her back, bro. Plus, if I got Gigi, Ellie can never visit. It's just hard, bro. I miss Gigi a lot, though, bro. That was my best friend. I was so depressed, bro. When I came on stream that day after giving her away, I was crying like a bitch all day. When you dropping the OnlyFans link? When you come to Chicago? I've never been. Bro, you good, I know. Ellie allergic? Yeah, bro. Ellie. Where would your dream house be? I totally don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to just end up wherever, like, the wind takes me bro i don't really care but i don't there's certain states i don't like like i don't like florida but last time i was in miami it wasn't that bad actually usually when i'm in florida i have bad experiences but my last one wasn't that bad so um i don't know i'll probably figure some shit out but like i said new york would be cool but it's so expensive bro and it's also crazy it was good right it's also wild when my tryouts yo i'm about to make a mod application channel yo did you make it yet tricks Weird. We made an application. Drake's made an application. We just gotta, we just gotta put it out there. The the mod tryouts. I might do them again. The only thing is, I feel like I take it as a joke, cause I make it funny. So then we have some ass mods most of the time. So I want to make it more serious though. Do you ever be listening to white girl music? I listen to a lot of rock. Which is a big ass spider on Mimikyu. Stop playing with me, bro. Stop trolling me, gang. Um, this nigga still eating hot dog. Yeah, this is the last one. But I listen to a lot of rock music in my like when I'm bored. What rock? Just anything, bro. I grew up at my tennis club. My my coach, my coach. Um, like he would play. He would play rock all day. So I so I know a lot of it. He listen to Deftones. Some, not all. So I know a lot of rock songs, but I don't like I don't follow like a specific band, if that makes sense. You talk about new Jades. Jades isn't good rock, though. Not here. Like if it was good rock, I'd listen to it. I swear. But it's not. Spider on Mimikyu. Can y'all stop, bro? Yo, MB, I'm late. I was with my friends. If you really making the streaming, would you drop out? I'm so close to graduating that I don't think it makes sense for me to drop out. I mean, I'm like. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense for me to drop out. But if I got like, say I finished this semester and then like I I was huge for some reason, I might think of like taking a break. I don't know. But I'm going to just go get that shit. Was going pro and tennis ever a goal? I mean, yeah, when I was younger, I feel like as you get older, you realize how, how, real, how realistic it is for you to end up going pro. When I was younger, of course, every kid is like, yeah, I'm going to be the best in the world. But... Mm -hmm. What program you taking? What do you mean, Noah? Mm, uh, finance major. You always tell us you're here for us, but who's here for you? Like, who do you talk to when you're down? But I'm not going to lie. Y'all is here for me, bro. Even though I don't, like, tell y'all all my personal shit, Just being able to come up here and talk to me and, like, and, like uh, just have a good time, bro. That shit helps me a lot. Even if it's not, uh, like, obviously I can't tell y'all everything that go in my life for personal reasons, but just the fact that I could talk to y'all help a lot. That should help a lot. This is my last stream. Why can't give us a life story? I did already, didn't I? If I asked you to pay my car note, would you do it if I was rich? 
Bro, I'm so, yo, chat, I'm so serious. If we ever get to the point where, I, like, I, I get a lot of money off the stream and shit, I'm going to give y'all a lot of shit, like, all my mods. We're going to do Christmas giveaways, holiday giveaways, all types of shit, bro. I want to give back to y'all, bro. I swear, I swear. When I get the opportunity, I will. When we get that big, bro, I will. Just as long as y'all stay down, bro, I promise y'all going to get. Psh, bro, y'all going to. Bro, trust me. I'm not going to be one of them streaming to just take the money and run with it, bro. I also want to do, I don't know when, but the next subathon I'm going to do, which probably won't be for a while, I want to do, um, I want to do a charity stream. I want to do a charity stream. I haven't, I don't know yet what. And I want us to grow a little bit more because I want it to be able to like gain traction. And I don't know what charity yet because I need to make sure it's a good charity that um like actually like I actually know what they do with their money. And shit. Because a lot of charities out here, bro, are like shady. and shit. So I, I haven't decided on what I want to do. But that's that's for in the next year, 2025. That's one of my goals. To do a charity stream. Like a successful charity stream where like every sub, every donation goes towards something. But I don't know what yet or where. If y'all have any, if y'all are tapped in with any good charities, let me know though. Give me KK Lawyers link up. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. We're going to do, bro. We're going to do a KK house, KK basement. KK crew basement. I'm going I'm to rent out a basement, yeah. But we get bigger. Like I said, when I get the money to do all this, shit, bro, we're going to do it. I promise. we are not doing that. <laughs> I want like... Well, like, I want, I low key want to do like what Rage did. Like, um, um, I was actually talking to Sophie about it off stream because she asked me about TwitchCon. I didn't want to go this year because I'm not partnered. If by the time next year I'll be partnered, so I'll go. But I want to go to like a convention like DreamCon or TwitchCon and then invite y'all. So it could be like y'all get to experience this shit too. And like y'all could chill there and like have shit to do. If that makes sense. But I need the funds for that shit. So when we get bigger. Yo, buy me UNC tickets. I got y'all. Bro, Elliot told me he was at a football game and something went up to him and was like, yo, you sauce kills, brother. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do on stream? That's a great question. I don't know. I like when it's when the when the chat's moving and I'm just talking to y'all. Like I love like conversating with y'all. That's probably the, like, yeah, I like yapping, bro. No ketchup, bro. Dry ass glick, bro. I'm on my last bite. I really ate seven hot dogs. Uh, I like chill shit. I like playing the game. I know it's not fun for y'all, but I like chilling playing the game. I like when we do segments to Discord when y'all are talking to me, like uh, in a call. Those are fun too. When it's jumping. Imagine at least there's another year, you want to see? The thing is, it's hard to get tickets for that. You want to see be selling out, bro. They have a crazy fan base. Are you complaining LA? He might. I don't know. You ever got going to do a content house? Yeah. If we ever get big enough. Because I, I tell y'all all the time, or when we get bigger, not if. Do you see Carney Lucky? Yeah, I'm about to react to it after this. When we get bigger, uh, I want to do... Yeah, I want to do like a content house. Because we got so many funny, bro. Our com is funny as hell. I went to UNC last year because of Elliot. That ass? I went to one game in a day with my dad. Kobe White was on the team. That's hard. Isaiah or Duop? Damn, that's hard. All time? Probably Duop. So you can answer him about the beef, but not me. My fault. Have you ever nutted and someone came in your room? No. Don't tell Chop you went to saw Kobe White. He might nut. What's the most important thing you ever learned in life? I went to Elliot's Korea high game in Miami. That asked for it, that's tough. Most important thing? I don't even know if I learned that shit yet, bro. I would say just be kind, though. Be respectful, bro. You, you go a long way from being nice to people, bro. You never know. Like I said, someone you're nice to, bro, might be someone I can help you one day. 
It's like, just be calm, bro. There's no reason to hate for no reason. Stop the hate. Even though I'm a hater. When do you want to settle down and have a kid? Or if you're too chopped to have a kid, are you going to adopt? I feel like when I was younger, I, pro I always say, like, I wanted kids young. Like, when I was young, like, probably, like, 25 or some shit. But now that I'm, like, 22, bro, and I'm, like, getting older, I'm not ready for a kid. Like, bro, y'all got to understand that you, as a parent, bro, you shape how that little going to be. Like, if you don't do a good job parenting, that could, like, be a menace to society, bro. Um, I don't know. I, I don't even know. I don't know, bro. But then I see, like, my grandparents, they're getting old. Like, I low-key want them to meet my kids and shit if I ever have some. At the same time, though, uh, like, sometimes I be thinking, like, do I want to bring a kid into this up-ass world? Like, y'all see the shit that be going on. Like, I be scared. Like, what if I have a daughter? There's out here that are disgusting. Like, I don't know, bro. Like, sometimes I be really down that shit. I don't know. But... I feel like I would want to end up having kids. I don't know what age. Probably like 30, 30s, early 30s. Nigga, we were born though. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we don't know how society's going to get. If it gets, it could get worse. You know, the world is like, fuck, like our world is damn near ending. Uh, Like climate change, all that shit. Like imagine in the, in the next when our kids are 30, nigga, and they grow up, they probably going to be in some in some ass living situations. So I be thinking, like, do I want to put somebody through that? But at the same time, life could be beautiful. So, And a lot of people say, like, having kids, like, changes your perspective of everything. So I feel like I want to experience that. And if I really love somebody, I want to have kids with them, too. If I gifted 100, would you let me beat it? Sure, bro. At the end of the day, we all gonna die. Might as well bring a life into this world. Maybe they'd be good in society facts. You never know. Well, he get drafted. Hell yeah, I'm gonna be there at the draft with him. You think I'ma let that happen? Let what? If I stole Pikachu so in, would you cry? Yo, Yex with another hundred. Holy shit, bro. Yo, Kia, stop saying that shit, bro. What's wrong? Yo, Kia, text me. Text me on Discord. Can I fly you out to the shy? I'm trying to take you to Navy Pier, Drake. What is even is that? Tits or ass? I love how we go from like deep questions to tits or ass. Personally, I'll say ass. When are we going to get married, R. Kelly? I want therapy. Yo, kill the mods you got right now. Don't forget about us, niggas, when you grow up, because we was the ones here on the way up. Oh, yeah. But I tell y'all all the time, I'm never going to forget about y'all. Bro. Y'all don't know, like, how many. Bro, there's, like, who uh, you can literally, like, who uh, used to be in the chat. Haven't been here for months, come back, and I remember them. Like, bro, I would not forget y'all, especially my mods who been be here consistently. Like, I can never forget y'all. Now, I can never forget you, AP. I'll never forget you, Paul. I'll never forget y'all niggas, bro. Perk, I can never forget Perk. I still think about Tay all the time. I'll never forget Emily. Bro, all y'all niggas. Some of y'all been here the whole time since I started, bro. It's like think about think about having friends, bro. If you had a friend for set eight months that you talk to damn near every day, would you forget about them? Hell no. About to be nine. That's what I'm saying. I can't talk to y'all every day for nine months and forget about y'all. Come on, shout out to you, facts. All right, bro. <laughs> I leave for a month and a half. Eagles, are you kidding me, bro? We're going to be here waiting for you when you get back, bro. We are here curly, Emily. I 
I feel sick. Ah, uh, all right, bro. W mukbang W Q and A. I can't shot no passer. I can't I can't shot no passer. He got stitch my bro. He passer. Big O B my bro. Can't lie no. 